Hey guys, welcome back to Chat with Tiana. I hope everyone is doing okay. So this is just a fun video of something that I noticed, being that I've been in the education sector in the city of Doha for a bit. And these are things I've noticed with educators, especially teachers in Qatar. There are certain items that you will find amongst teachers. They have to have these items. And I'm going to share them with you in this video. So if this is something you'd like to see, please stay tuned. And if this is your first time on this channel, please do well to subscribe, leave me a comment, and give me a thumbs up. So welcome. <laughs> Are you even considered a teacher in Qatar if you don't own an iPhone? I think, I don't know if it's written somewhere in their contract, must own an iPhone to become a teacher in Qatar. There is no way you find a teacher in Qatar who is without an iPhone. They have iPhones. Well, they get paid really well, so they're able to afford them, but it's like a profession thing. Everyone who's a teacher has to have an iPhone. And in Qatar, oh my goodness, there is absolutely no way you can be a teacher in Qatar without owning an iPhone. Your peers, you just get peer influenced, and before you know it, you're buying one even if you don't like the product. So one of the things you find with teachers in Qatar is must own an iPhone. Yeah, <laughs> they must have an iPhone. <laughs> Apple Watch. Like every one of them have Apple Watches. That's another thing I think is on their contract. Must own an Apple uh, Watch. You just see them always going like this. You know, almost every teacher that I have met in Doha, Qatar owns a smartwatch, especially an Apple Watch, maybe to go with their Apple iPhones, you know. So that's another thing that I find with teachers in Qatar must own an Apple Watch or a smartwatch. I don't know why. And another thing that most teachers own in Qatar is a MacBook. I don't know, they have such great love for the MacBook. You, can, you could have bought any other laptop, but no, they all have to own a MacBook. So majority of teachers in Qatar do their work from their MacBook. So add that to the list, must own a MacBook. Do you know how much that thing costs? Then again, if you're in another profession, you might want to change your profession to become a teacher in Qatar because those guys are being paid very well to be able to own these gadgets that i just mentioned in this video so a macbook put that on the list teachers in qatar are ballers and the final thing that i noticed with teachers in qatar is must love starbucks coffee you just see them going everywhere with the starbucks coffee cup in their hand starbucks i'm ordering starbucks i'm ordering starbucks <laughs> you know like you must be a lover of coffee, especially Starbucks. It comes with the title of being a teacher in Qatar. So add that to the list as well. Must love Starbucks coffee or maybe Caribou, but Starbucks coffee. <laughs> These are the things that you will find with teachers in Qatar. They are ballers. Spend weekends in five-star hotels. Hey, they can pay for it because they earn well. <laughs> Consider changing your profession if you are in another profession <laughs> guys so let me know if there's anything else you notice about teachers in Qatar and let's chat in the comment section so if you found this video fun please leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all in my next one